Hello, my name is Anthony Ramos, and today we're going to be talking about vulnerability response con initial configurations that have to do with calculators. So the topics we're going to be going over today are understanding the why. Understanding the why in regards to why do we need calculators and what can I do with them. Configuring calc the initial calculator and then how to adjust those values to better match not only your business objective but CI data. And lastly, the order and why it's important, and I'll give you a demo. Prerequisites, you need to have vulnerability response installed with these plugins, standard installation. Understanding the why. So when it comes to scanners, we'll import data from a scanner and we will receive that CVSS, the Common Vulnerability Scoring System number from them. But to us, the CVSS is a starting point, and we really want to use that as a stepping stone in how we're going to evaluate vulnerabilities. Uh, the issue with CVS, CVSS is that it does not take into account company priorities and business impact. ServiceNow wants you to use the baseline information that we have in there, but then adjust it to better fit your priorities and business impact. So when building vulnerability calculators, the admin can prioritize pretty much all that data as it comes in. And what we wanna do is think of it as the business impact of that vulnerability. Hey, uh, if something comes in and we only have one, it's a high vulnerability, right? So the CVSS score is really high, but that machine is in a lab and isn't um, accessible to the internet it might come in as a really high vulnerability, but we might need to adjust that to a lower vulnerability because it's not accessible. Something along those lines. Or if something is a comes in as a lower, but it's high business impact, if that system is down, then we can adjust that as well. Order has, has so much to do, and we don't talk about it enough, unfortunately, but as the system processes data, and you've seen this in other parts of vulnerability response, the order has a huge impact because once something matches in, in a calculator or pretty much any of the, end, any of the other rules in, in vulnerability response, it will not be checked again in the next rule that runs. So it is something that we can adjust. And if the admin sees that uh, certain CIs aren't getting the vulnerability um, score that they need, then they can make adjustments on that. Next, we'll go into the demo. Okay, we're in a developer instance here, so I'm gonna go to my calculators. Um, I already had that favorited, so if you wanted to, just type in uh, calculators, rules calculators. And we're gonna go into the activate, uh, the calculator that's set to true here and these this is by default and what I wanted to show you was that when you go into the d default calculator here you'll see the criteria and this is what I wanted to talk about when we talk about default and being able to change it to your environment business criticality severity all of these things can be changed based upon your environment and as the admin, that's something that you need to focus on. So we're gonna spend our time in here and this is more of a thought exercise for you as you're thinking about your environment and what you need to do. So that CVSS that comes in might not be applicable or can be applicable to what you have going on and you can add criteria. Just note that if you want to add criteria, you essentially have to turn the rule off and then add your criteria and then come back. So if you wanted to add anything that's critical to your business environment. As soon as you change a value in here, that value then in, in 
will go in and change the value on the bottom here. And this is what you really will see in your environment. This is just the parameters that you get adjusted with. So let's change this to 70. Sorry, let's edit this record, sorry. All right, let's come in here and set that to 70. And let's put skill level, just because I like that one, at 10. All right, and then we come down here and we'll notice that the criticality has changed in here and the resulting risk score has changed. So <clears throat> you can come in here and change those as things pop up, zero day pops up, whatever it is that you feel that you need to change those rules and as they're coming in. So let's just say that a server team had a bad build, right, in an image and they sent it out. Now your scanner came and picked it up and realized that, holy cow, now they're getting bombarded with messages saying they have vulnerabilities. Well, you might want to come in here and change your rules up at, just on the front end so that you can say, okay, for that particular instance, we know that those servers might, let's just say a Linux box came in or a Linux, specific Linux image came in, you can then change that to the criticality being low versus high. And this is where you would do it at, okay? So <clears throat> you can come back, I'm gonna leave here cause I don't wanna change, I don't wanna make any changes there and create new rules, right? And this is what I was talking about, that order of, of events. So you could have different rules for different environments, for different server groups, for different vulnerabilities, whatever, whatever you wanna come up with here, you're gonna go ahead and uh, create new ones here, but I have to make sure that you're aware that the order of events is really critical, right? Because if something is picked up on something of, of that's order 1000, or I'm just gonna put this as, uh, you create a new one and order is 1001. If, it, if it's something that you wanted to have adjusted, then that rule needs to be ahead of this one, right? Because it won't pick up the next one. So the, <clears throat> as the admin, don't be afraid to play with these numbers based upon what the business requirements are because this is this is going to be your bread and butter and as ingestion comes in and that process gets followed these rules will get ran and then your risk value is going to be on those vulnerabilities so this is kind of the something to always be in the back of your mind and then if your cmdb is not as mature as you'd like it to be you can then in turn put some of those business criticality numbers in here, but they don't wanna last forever, right? You wanna go back and talk to the business and ensure that these match up to what is important to the business, okay? So in summary, we've, had, we've gone over why we need calculators, how to change calculator values to better fit business priorities and process, and criticality and why it's important to adjust orders of operations when we look at vulnerabilities in your environment. For additional information, here are some links and we will be continually putting out videos on vulnerability response to help you better administer your environment. Thanks for watching.